Misfits, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Ferlini. I am going to be doing daily content and vlogging until the end of 2021. So consider subscribing because you don't want to miss out on my next video. Today we're going to be doing something that I keep getting in the comments a lot. I keep getting comments a lot that everybody wants to see me vlogging food. And I don't know why everybody wants to see food. Everybody wants to see food content. So I said, hey, I'm going to take Buddy... He's one of my subscribers who recommended me vlogging a Dominican dish. Now, what is more Dominican than anything else? What is Dominican Republic known for when you think about it, right? Think about a dish that everybody knows and loves. And today we've decided we're going to do... The Chimi Challenge. <laughs> we're doing Chimi Churis, yes. The Chimis. And these are the items you're going to need if you want to follow along. This is something you don't need, but we still bought it for the video because we got to make it mad Dominican if we're going all out. We can make platano con salami, <laughs> platano con salami. We got the salami, the indubeca. We got the resfreco, the country clue. Everybody knows about that. We got, you're going to need some beef, ground beef. We got the cabbage, lettuce. We got the bread. We got the... We got, we don't need that shit. We got tomatoes up in here. You gotta get ketchup and mayo both together because because that's how you make the secret sauce. So keep watching the video if you guys wanna see how do you make cheese and you can do this shit at home and open up your own truck someday if you have future aspirations of opening up chimie trucks. <laughs> All right guys, let's get to this. All right, first step, we're gonna take a bowl. We're gonna take the mayo, we're gonna mix that in with the ketchup. Put a lot of that shit in the bowl. <laughs> you want that thing saucy, that way you can put as much as you want. And I know some of you guys are like, uh, mayo, uh, but this is not just regular mayo, it's mayo and ketchup. You get the pink sauce. And you'll see that in a second. All right, mix the ketchup in there. Awesome. Mix that shit in until it turns in pink. We got the sous chef up in here. He's the Roomba. He be cleaning it up. Make sure you get one of these at home too, so you can sweep up all the crumbs you leave up the floor. <laughs> Put that wrist action in there. Oh yeah. Woo! All right, guys. Next, we gotta get the meat ready. All right, we're making four of them. So we're taking four pieces of meat, ground beef. We're gonna split it up into little burgers. The next thing you're gonna need is the seasoning. Make sure you have salt, garlic, adobo, onion. What Dominican doesn't have adobo in their house? All Hispanic people have adobo in their house. Known fact. All right, let's put this on the meat. Now we're gonna put it on the meat. Get that prep station ready, guys. Do a little salt bag. Be generous, this is red meat. Don't go OD and salt it, but you can put enough you know, to cover all the edges. So we just try to cover it all up. Now that I think about it, because I know already has enough salt, so don't put too much salt. Alright, so don't put be, salt. Yeah, it'll be too salty. Darn it. Bring some garlic. Pat it down a little bit. Make sure you make it into this type of shape, kind of like a rectangle. Okay. Now, you're going to do the same step, repeat, adobo and garlic. And I did wash my hands every time I touch the patties, just make sure your hands are clean. And sanitize. Safety first. Now we put that oil in. Yeah, but don't get too happy with the oil, just put a little bit. Just to kind of saute the pan, I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. Just enough so it doesn't stick. Right, you wanna move it around, make sure you get all the surface. Now we're gonna let that bad boy heat up a little bit, but then we're gonna move the fire down to roughly like a six. All right now, guys, we're gonna start cutting up the tomatoes while I am. All right guys, you're gonna slice up your tomatoes. So much pressure, guys. I've never had someone watch me cut tomatoes before. Normally I do this pretty quick, but. Now you're making me nervous. <laughs> so it's like this. Yeah. <laughs> so it actually looks like a burger tomato. Time to cut the onions. And the tomatoes are cut as well. 
up on the meat. Steam and everything can stay right in there as it cooks. Looks nice and steam just like that. Probably tearing up right now because I just cut the onion. This product is how it's gonna start looking. You grab a, a pan if you have a similar to this one, you can use that. What we do is we're gonna butter up the pan in here and toast the bread a little bit. Once the meat is ready, that's when you move the meat from one side to the next pan. Loud, it's the fan. Every time we cook, it's annoying. Now we're gonna take the bread out. Put the fire low for the bread because we don't want the bread to burn. We just need it to get toasty. A little bit of crunch. Left. Can have a big chimney. Or a hero. Lace it in the middle. Make sure it opens up those buns. <laughs> Lace it on the like so. It's a little bit of toasty inside. Cheap with some pressure as well. That's right, because if you put on the toaster like a toaster toaster, then you can might burn it, get too hard. This way, you see how it's still kind of soft? I can make sure that it's still soft at the end of the day. Look at those grill marks. This fits if this is looking great. Slap a like right now on this video if you're hungry. I am sorry I can't share some with you, but I'll share some virtually with you. Also guys, don't forget I have merch now. Click on the description below if you want to see some of these hoodies. All right guys, we're going to do the secret part now. All right, the best part. All right, so Fellini likes it a little saucy, so what we're going to do, right? Yeah, there's the bottom. So we're going to put a little bit at the bottom. We're going to add a little bit, smooth it out. Some of the repollo. AKA cabbage, coleslaw, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. Meat doesn't like that much, so we just put a little bit in here. Have our chimi. The beef. Some beautifully cut tomatoes. A little more sauce up top. The onions. Sparkle a little bit. Onions. Raw onions taste a lot better with the chimi. And we put this on top. Press. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do the same thing, yeah. Run that little. Put a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Sauce. This doesn't look fucking delicious, then y'all fucking blind. Damn! Look at Oliver, he's drooling right now. Good looking, tasty. Mmm. Look at him, he's shaking, licking his lips. He's like, I want some of that cheese. The cutting of the cheese part. And that's how you guys make the cheese. Now, I have my country glue and I have my cheese. Now we're gonna do the final reveal. I'm gonna taste it, see if it tastes good. Moment of truth. So far, so good, look at this, mmm, thick. Wow, that is fucking delicious, man. Cheers. To your chimmy if you make one at home. Wow. It's a good job to try it. Gotta see if it's really good. How is it? <laughs> this is the fucking best chimmy we've ever made. <laughs> you heard it here. Not only did I say it, but Jeff said it as well. All right, guys, so I'm gonna devour these. I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you so much, guys. If you wanted to hang out with us and you made chimis, if you didn't make chimis and you just saw us make them, go make your own. Go make your own. Send us some pictures. Show us what you made. Send us some pictures, tag me on Instagram, and let me see what you guys discovered, if you found your own secret recipes, and if you guys have a different style of making chimis. I might be doing it wrong. But if you do, please tag me. Don't forget to click on the link below. Check out my merch. If you guys like this video, leave me a comment down below as well. If you have any other ideas for any vlogs or any suggestions, let me know as well. I do look at my comments and I try to respond to each and every one of you. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.